my virtual life. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what do we do? So let's delete this stuff, okay? And so, so far, right, we've written the code. I hope you can see it okay. Uh, this is importing turtle. We're using the turtle library. And this thing makes a triangle, okay? FD just stands for forward, LT stands for left turn. So we go towards the left. Yeah, left. I always have to remind myself that the turns kind of matter. And then we have this turtle named Timmy. Hey, Timmy the turtle, it's been initialized to be a turtle object. And if I uncomment this code, my try function, okay, and I pass in Timmy with 60, okay, 60 is the size. When I click run, I should see a triangle be produced somewhere. Ah, it's kind of off screen. Uh, zoom out. There it is. Okay, there's a triangle. Right. Da -da -da -da. There Timmy goes. How do I get this to fit better? Is that better? Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> so, but now we want to go, okay, I need a small triangle over here, a small triangle over here, and a small triangle over there. That's the part where it gets weird. So, def, okay, try, and this is the rec recurse one, right? The, to recurse is to call upon yourself. Uh, we'll need something to help us track where we are, so we'll need a level, okay? Right now, this is level one. Right? Level one is just a plain old triangle. In your snowflake, it's like a straight line. That's what we call the base case. That's important, because that's where you stop. Um, then again, uh, we'll need a size, okay? And that's how our definition will look like. Uh, the other important thing about recursion is you've got to start somewhere. So in our case, if level equals 1, okay, what we're going to do is call our normal triangle function. T represents our turtle. Noticed in our original function called, we passed in Timmy. And then you draw a triangle of set size. Oops, not 60, size. Okay. So if I comment out this Timmy, and down here, just to check to see that my code's running right, uh, I do try underscore recurse. And then I pass in, OK, Timmy is my turtle. It's just one level in. And my size, let's make it uh, 80. Let's run this code and see what happens. Cool. It's a bigger triangle, and that's all that's expected, right? But here's the weird thing. When we go up one level, that's when we want to get one triangle with tiny ones at the very tips. And so far, our code, right, it doesn't run because we haven't written the other part of it. Right? What do we do when the level is more than one? And if I can draw it on the whiteboard, it should look like, based on where I start initially, like forward, make a triangle, down, make a triangle, up, make... Oh, this is where I mess up. Like, I don't know which way my triangle should point. So something like this, right? Go on the outer edge, make a tiny triangle, move, make a tiny triangle, move again, make a tiny triangle. That's the pattern. So down here in the else statement, okay, let's just try using our function with itself. Okay, recurse. Notice we're still using the same turtle object. The level will leave blank for now. And here's the size. The size will be half of what it was before. Uh, yeah. And then down here, right, it's going to be level minus one. And let's see what happens. Okay. So if I change my function call of the recursive definition, I click and I go, right? I just see level one, great. Now when I change it to level two, let's see what happens. I'm trying to scroll up so that it lets me see the play button. Okay. 
Yeah, so we just get the small triangle. And notice it didn't make the bigger triangle that's there. We don't have the outline in the middle up here on the board. We just have one of the corners. So that's the weird thing. So at the very beginning, I think we have to do t dot uh, forward size. Right? We move forward first. We draw our tiny triangle, which we have right now. But then we got to set up for the next call, right? We have to move down and then turn. So then t dot left turn 120. Let's see what happens now. Okay, I can kind of get it to fit all in the screen. Oops. So now, notice, and I'll replay that once more. We have one of our edges. Okay, let's click run. Okay, so it goes and makes a triangle. All right, we have one third of what we need. Let's play that once more. Come on, run. So there's your line. Okay. And now notice I took a 120 degree turn. What my turtle should do next is go up and then make a triangle, then go back down. It's the same pattern repeated. Uh, it's okay if you're feeling very lost. Uh, that is how recursion is like. So then uh, when we repeat this, right, in range 0 to 3, we repeat this three times and then we have a uh, larger triangle. Okay, so I added all this inside a for loop. And the turning kind of self-corrects itself. When we run this, okay, boop boop, boop boop, 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 do, 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 That, who is recursion? That is recursion. But it's like, I guess one goal of this, we may not fully understand it, just know that your snowflake code will kind of look like this. You have an if statement, you'll do some moving, there's an else statement, you call your function again, you may not necessarily have a loop here, that's just because we have triangles in this case. Your thing's more like a line. Yeah. Okay, shall, shall we go a bit simpler instead of this? Yes? Okay. Uh, let's see what happens with 5. So we'll let this thing go. It makes a tiny triangle. It's moving very slowly, but you'll see that same pattern as it was produced before. And then I'll just pause my video here, and I'm just going to draw on the whiteboard a little bit. Okay. Okay. 